Hi, Brent Haynes with Wood Sound Flutes. We have three flutes we're going to talk about today. These are currently available up on the website. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these, uh, feel free to give me a call or, uh, or shoot me an email. Uh, the information is below. Uh, the current flute that we're going to talk about is in the key of high C. This is made out of one of my favorite woods because the aroma is out of this world. This is pitch pine. One of my uh, favorite clients from uh, Idaho brought me down a, a great big ponderosa pine burl that a friend of hers had harvested one year. And uh, this burl, I think when he cut the burl, he pushed it down a hill to get it to his truck. And, and it ended up actually rolling into his truck and, and hitting the car door. It was just a, you know, it was a real um, lot of shenanigans around getting this burl and, uh, and, getting, and getting it down here to Utah. And, um, and so Mary comes down and, and brings this, this burl down. And we went down to the, uh, the sawmill and, and watched as he, as he cut it up. And I, you know, we directed him how I wanted the burl cut and, and all that. And as he's cutting it, this aroma is just so thick in the air. It's just unbelievable. You just, the, the aroma of the pine is amazing. So the flutes themselves, when you smell the finger holes, it's just incredible. The aroma is just out of this world. And as you play the flute, it fills the space that you're playing in. I mean, it is serious aromatherapy. Um, just a, a phenomenal uh, aroma. The other thing I love about the pitch pine flutes is when you have light, even in, I don't, I don't have a ton of light in here right now, just some LED lights in the background there and a little bit of overhead light and whatnot. But um, I can see through the wood in the tube. I can actually see and uh, the, the, the light penetrating the wood. And the reason for that is that this, this pine has so much pitch, so much um, of the binding agent in it, the, the pitch and the lignans, that, um, that the wood actually becomes kind of translucent. And, uh, and there's a couple of things about this pitch pine that I think are really amazing. Uh, the, of course, the aroma and, and being able to see it. But the other thing that I, uh, that I think about a lot with this pitch pine is I think about it, that, that sap um, crystallizing with time. I remember when I used to work as a uh, you know, carpenter's helper, or helping my brother-in-law build homes, or you know, sometimes we would take down a wall or something in an old home, and you come across a, uh, a two by four that um, somebody had pounded in the wall, and maybe there's a nail going through a knot or something, and the knot would have all sorts of pitch that had been in it, that it had poured out over time, and then it actually crystallized. And getting the nail out of that wood was so hard. It was just, the wood gets just incredibly hard over time. And I am certain that that is because the, the, the sap that's in here now polymerizes it. It binds together over time. And it just takes time for that to all happen. And as that happens, I am absolutely certain that these flutes are going to sound better and better and better and better and better. And so I'm really excited to see one of these pitch pine flutes in like 10, 15 years, maybe 20 years down the road and, uh, and see what it sounds like. I think the sound is just going to be off, off the hook. So anyways, this one is in the key of high C. It's very simple. This is what I call a simple elegance. It's just a beautiful, simple, gorgeous flute, and uh, it plays uh, wonderfully well. If you have uh, small fingers, this would be a great flute for you because the, the holes on this particular flute are fairly small, and so if your fingers are really thin, this is an awesome flute for uh, someone like that.
again, that's pitch pine, just an awesome, awesome wood, awesome flute. And uh, I do have a little bit more of the um, Ponderosa Pine Burl, though not very much. I actually am down to probably maybe four flutes or something like that. The next wood is a wood that um, one of these days I'm probably going to do this as a flute of the month. I don't know when. Um, not in March because I've got another wood already planned for that. But um, but I love this uh, this wood too. This is uh, this uh, brown molly burl is uh, there's something about it that I just really love. It you know it's kind of it's got a nice aroma. It's not it's not like amazing like the pitch pine is amazing. Um, the grain is is unbelievable. It's uh, you look at the grain and it just has depth and and the color is like caramel. That's it. I love caramel. I'm totally a dulce de leche uh, freak. I mean, dulce de leche ice cream, man, that's where it's at. Maybe that's what this reminds me of is a nice bowl of haagen dulce de leche. Um, it's certainly smooth and it certainly sounds great. And if it was ice cream, I'll bet it would taste great too. So uh, we'll play this. It's in the key of A. This is the flute that I uh, used to learn the Black Beauty song on. Whatever, just screwing around. <laughs> you know, these instruments are so fun. There's so many fun things that you can do. And, um, you know, I was horsing around trying to find a song I wanted to play. And so you end up there. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. It, it's really wild because you really do have a full chromatic instrument. And so with the native flute. And if you learn how to play the different scales, then you can... Um, learn how to um, play lots of different stuff on it and um, or you can keep it really simple and and just keep it right to the the heart centered um, and and play the things that like just just speak and, and pull that emotion uh, out of you uh, in in just right out of the basic scale and I think that's one of the reasons why I love this instrument so much is because there are so many ways that it can be utilized and uh, by people of all level, um, you know, from from really advanced players to to uh, um, to people that are just brand new. And I have had so many people that are brand new players go out and, and they're playing out somewhere, maybe in arches or. Or they're, you know, maybe they're up at Yellowstone Park and they come back and they're like, oh my gosh, Brent, I was out playing my flute and I, I don't even know how to play the scale hardly. I'm just kind of goofing around with the scale a little bit. And somebody walks up to me and says, oh, that music is so beautiful. You play that so well. Oh, oh, wow. That was just, thank you so much for playing this. And they're standing there going, are you kidding me? I just got this flute. I don't even know how to play it. And people are approaching them and telling them this kind of stuff. Um, 
I think mostly because it has such a beautiful sound. The instrument has such a gorgeous sound. And um, that if you just try and allow your emotions to, to flow through that, um, just with that intention, whether or not you know how to do what I just said or not, doesn't matter. But just with the intention of trying to do that, that people actually respond and they love it. it they just love it. So um, the last flute that we're going to talk about in this group is a, a low um, F. It's a, a made out of um, black palm. And black palm is actually a palm tree, uh, coconut. Um, it could be a coconut tree, a uh, variety of different trees, um, black palm. But it's a very, very different wood. Um, we have to do some different things to it to stabilize it in the front end so that there's no cracking. Um, we do that basically by all, everything internal in the front end is a different wood. It's not the black palm. And the black palm basically becomes just a veneer on the front end. But then on the back end, where all the sound is created, it is um, just all the black palm that you hear, which is a really awesome sounding wood. So um, I think you'll enjoy this. This is in the key of F. So Amazing Grace, um, again, Black Palm. You can reach me at 801-822-1415 or brent at woodsounds.com. Hope you're making lots of music, and I look forward to talking to you soon.